This is DITW, Anatomy and Physiology, and you are watching the video on microvilli versus cilia. Microvilli and cilia are commonly confused with each other, and that's not unreasonable. Both microvilli and cilia are projections of the plasma membranes of cells that are made of protein filaments. So how can we better understand the difference? To make it simple, look to its purpose. Cilia for movement, microvilli for absorption. To understand what each of them does, let's look at each of them in the context of the human body. In the lining of your upper respiratory tract, you have simple columnar epithelial tissue that have cilia projections. Goblet cells around these cells produce mucus which captures foreign particles that are in your airway. The purpose of the cilia is to move the mucus and the foreign particles up the airway where it can be swallowed or coughed out. Cilia has a protein microtubule filament structure which in conjunction with motor proteins allows for movement. Let's talk about microvilli. Similarly, in the lining of your small intestines, you have simple columnar epithelial tissue, but it is non-ciliated. The purpose of the microvilli is to increase absorption of nutrients by increasing the surface area of the cell. Since a flat apical cell surface cannot absorb as much as a surface with multiple finger-like projections that extend the surface area. If you want to know differences in structure, they are similar in the sense that they are both protein-based protrusions of a cell. The cilia protein microfilaments are free to bend and move with the help of motor proteins, while the protein projections of the microvilli also have lateral structure proteins which prevent movement of the structure.